Adisa Baba Fairy Tales and Bedtime Stories for Kids. Once upon a time, while the summer was still blooming, the animals living in the forest, the birds and the insects were making the most of the summer. And of course, they had no trouble finding food. It was an ordinary day for the lazy grasshopper. He was eating the roots of the herbs he had picked whilst playing the violin and singing under a tree. Oh, what a lovely day! La la la, I'll play and sing along with my violin and I don't know the rest of the words to the song but it's okay! When he finished his ear-bleeding song, he heard a noise and listened carefully. In order to understand where and who the noise was coming from, he quickly jumped up high onto the branches of the tree. And right there, he saw from a distance an ant trail. They were marching like soldiers. With great difficulty, the ants were carrying seeds and dry fruits that had fallen off from the trees. The grasshopper jumped to the ground and as confused as he was, he watched the trail of ants disappear. I never seem to get these ants. They're always working. Right at that moment, he noticed an ant coming his way. The ant was trying to carry a seed much bigger than himself. Just as he was passing the grasshopper, the ant dropped the seed he was carrying. In fact, he needed to rest. The grasshopper stared at him with meaningless eyes. Are you moving somewhere? Now? Don't tell me there is a big disaster approaching. Is that why you're running away? Now! Well then, may I ask what you're doing? We are carrying food to our nests. Rightio, you must be expecting a lot of visitors tonight then. Mmm, we are storing food for winter. You're storing food for the winter? What for? And besides, why the rush? There's still a long time for winter. Have fun, just make the most out of the summer. Is that so? So what do you suggest we do for winter? I'm sure we'll find something fun to do, don't worry. All you ever think about is fun. What will we eat, I'm asking you? I'll think about that when winter starts. Now it's summer and there's plenty to eat everywhere. The ant had enough listening to the lazy grasshopper's nonsense and tried to put the seed on his back once again. <coughs> I must keep up with my friends. Will they help me to put the seed on my back? A singer and an artist like me shouldn't carry such heavy things. After hearing such an answer from the grasshopper, the ant gave the grasshopper a rather interesting look and continued to try and put the seed on his back. I suppose I could give you a little help. The grasshopper picked up the rather small seed off the ground and placed it on the ant's back. The ant thanked him and continued on his way. What a useless and empty effort. The grasshopper continued to lay under the tree. After having something small to eat, he continued to play his violin. Oh, what a lovely day! La la la! I play and sing along with my violin, and so I couldn't make up the rest. La la la! la right la, at that la, moment, la, a squirrel la, la, took his head out la, of the tree. La, 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 enough, enough! Please, it's enough! Go and sing your song somewhere else! I'm trying to rest here! The instant the grasshopper stopped his singing, he took a glance at the squirrel, grabbed his violin, and he took off. They don't know how to appreciate an artist in this forest. As the hot summer days continued, the ants continued on carrying food to their nests, while the grasshopper continued to eat, walk around, have fun playing his violin and sing. Finally,
Finally, the cold winter had arrived. One morning, when the ants woke up, they had a look outside from their nests and saw that everything was covered in white snow. All the little ant could think of was the other animals living in the cold, freezing and hungry. On the other hand, due to all the plants being covered with snow, the grasshopper hadn't eaten a single thing for days. He was shivering, had lost all his strength, and wasn't able to play the violin or sing. With great strength, he was trying to walk on the snow. Suddenly, he thought about the hot summer days. How nice were those days. Everywhere was covered in food. I had a full stomach. I was always happy. At that moment, he thought about the ant. He carried food to his nest all summer long. Later he realised he didn't like this idea. He had made fun out of him during the summer. Would he help him now, he wondered? And now it was way too cold for the grasshopper to walk. It's no time to be proud. I have to find the ant's nest and ask for help. He head straight to the ant's nest. He stood in front of the door and yelled. Is anybody there? Please help. Who is it? From the nest he heard a noise. The grasshopper, with his last strength, answered. My dear friend, ant, it's me, grasshopper. Please take me in. By this time, hearing all that was being said, the queen ant approached the little ant. What's going on? Who wants help? Just a lazy grasshopper that sits around, sings all day, my queen. I think he is hungry and seeks help. Anyone who ends up at our doorstep and seeks help should not be rejected. The queen and all the other ants approached the front door of the nest and opened it. The grasshopper was there lying down on the snow because he had no strength anymore. The ants immediately picked the grasshopper up and carried him into the nest. The grasshopper came to himself thanks to the warmth of their nest. They gave him water and food. Now he was feeling much better. The grasshopper thanked the queen and walked next to the little ant. I have been very unfair to you. While you were working all summer long, I sat down and just sang. And actually you warned me, but I did not take you seriously. I regret that. This should be a big lesson for you. We also would like to have fun all summer long, but we do have to think about the future too. If we did not get our food during summer, we might have been in the same position as you. The grasshopper stayed in their nest for a while. He was now much better and healthier. When it was time to go, the ants gave the grasshopper some food. Thank you for everything. You saved my life and I will never forget that. And I will never be lazy from now on. Can I ask for a favor? Sure, tell me. What do you like? Um, when it's summer, you can take music lessons, learn to play the violin and make all the other animals happy, maybe. Ha 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 